crazy in this thing, isn't it? Yeah, oh yeah. It's had its rice krispies. Loads of sugar in it. Let's go. Now I just get my belt piece. Well, you're down to 3,500 feet, Ben. When you're out here and your legs have been working really well doing this one thing for so long and then you throw some big mountains in it and all of a sudden your legs just don't work anymore. They don't work how you want them to. What's it like this on your wall? Yeah, I just like deflated, just like super sad. I was like, "Do you want me to go with you?" He's like, "No." He's like, "I'm just listening to sad music," and he kind of teared up. I was like, "Dude, do you want a hug?" He's like, "Yeah." Yeah. So when you're running across the United States from west to east, you know you're going to come across lots of things that are going to challenge you. But the Appalachians really are this are the crux of the effort, in my opinion. If you're running, your legs get pretty adapted to this flat rolling hills. And then right when you think you're about done, everything changes. And it becomes this just up and down, up and down, climbs, descents, climbs, descents. And a lot of those muscles that you might use for that have atrophy. And he was pretty discouraged. And he was just like, my legs just don't work. Well, I'm looking for 70, but I mean, even After if you're that, not, you still get 70. No, yeah, I know. It's just a lot. If I can't sustain this, then it's time to, to rest and then, yeah. So I get back out there and I can. Yeah, I mean, we don't want to completely burn you out. That's why I say maybe the Napa Norma Tech might not be a bad idea. That was a big hill. I thought I could grind it out, but that, that hill's fucked me a bit. Hey buddy. Socks, boys. Socks? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's see if you want it now. If not, you know, there you go. So, tough on that. Mm -hmm. How steep that is mm -hmm. going down it. See right there? Yeah. Look yeah. how wide they get. And they don't come back. Perfect. That's what I was hoping for. That's it, dude. Flat all the fucking way in. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go have some fun. Well, you guys take care out there, man. God bless. God bless America. Big day. Well done, mate. Well done, bro. Good oh. job, man. Oh, Thanks for taking it was. Thank you, gents. <sighs> There's 200 miles left. 360s is 180. 360. 20 miles. Yeah, Wednesday, 20 Thursday, million. Friday, 20. There's just a lot of great people who have done this. Everyone has done it in their own way and, you know, inspired others and he gets to join a really select group of people who have done something that is just of such magnitude that, you know, you, most people can't even comprehend.
the ones of note to me that have always stood out is being Pete Kosselnik, obviously. He did it in 42 days. He has the overall FKT. Sandra Villanez, she did it in 54 days, being the female FKT. Both of those are just astonishing to me. Uh, you have Jason Romero, who was legally blind when he did it. Um, he's a good friend of mine and someone who I respect a lot as well as a big one to me was Marshall Ulrich. He did it in 52 days at 57 years old. Marshall being kind of the legend, I, I see him as the legend in this weird space of running that Will and I are in multi-day big endurance efforts. And he kind of pioneered that as well as, you know, just having this very standout transcon. I mean, at the end of the day, if we're talking about records, the only one that really matters is Pete's. And it's 42 days. We're not even close to that. This is just about having this experience, putting up as good an effort as you possibly can. And Will's effort is incredible. And it's so inspiring and far exceeded my expectations. It's incredible. He's really shown up and showed up every day with immense amounts of focus and determination. And it's, it's inspiring. Last real day, bro. Yeah, let's go. Fuck real. The last real day. Yeah. Last day of school. You can like fucking swear at the teachers and shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, miss. Yeah. What did you say? I said fuck you. <laughs> With a P. <laughs> last day of school, bro. You do what you want. Tonight's your last night in bed. I know. In the truck. Thank fuck. <sighs> I need to pack it away. Oh. Yep, I think so. There's some incredible shit that we've done. It's wild. I'm really proud of Will. I mean, this yeah. has been... You know, I, I had all the confidence in him, but he blew my expectations out of the water. Toast. Home stretch, baby. Home stretch. Full spot, is it? Thanks, bro. Yeah, you do. Thank you. Congratulations. Appreciate it. This is mad. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I can't really comprehend it, to be honest. <laughs> See you in the morning, man. Part stretch, part celebration. Ish. Shall we? Alright. Alright, see ya. Come on, Al. Fuck it, let's get into it. Whoa! <laughs> Alright. It's fucking good to be To everyone here, like these are my some of these guys are my closest friends. I can't thank you all enough, mad love. Last fucking drink! <laughs> it's been Bigger and better than I could have ever imagined. So I'm super grateful to every single one of you here. Let's just go fucking finish this thing off and
She's here right now, brother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She'll be having a dinner tonight. <laughs> She's very proud, brother. <laughs> I think we've raised a, a, sh a shit ton of money, which is fucking crazy, and hopefully we'll um, we'll improve some improve some lives and keep people strong. So yeah, thank you very much. Honestly, an unbelievably surreal experience, like knowing what Will's gone through, what the crew, all the people involved to get Will to this point. And like, I feel Mandy here tangibly in these moments, and it makes me know that my dad's here too. And I think that's what inspires so many people. It's about showing that like there's more within us all and that we can do stuff for a greater good. So it's an unbelievable challenge, but it's a bigger like thing for like what it means for people. So man, it's a special day.